Hey guys, it's Lotus and welcome back to another video. So today I'm finally checking out the new update for Assessment Examination. Assessment Examination is an analog horror game where we are trying to apply for a job at this mysterious company and trying to figure out if we can determine whether these people that are shown pictures of are real or not real. As in, are they human or are they something else? So I've played the... <gasps> um, you heard that, right? Anyway, um, I played the original version of the game before the update, uh, and I'll link that in the description so you can check it out. And, uh, we're gonna see what the update has to offer. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna choose different options this time, because I wanna see what could come out of it. Yeah. Okay, and I'm also not going to play all three endings. I'm just going to go for one and hopefully I do the best that I can. Okay, let's jump right into it. Start. The examination will now begin. Hello, AAD. Friends. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. Mm. All of us here at are very happy. Still don't know what company this is I'm applying for. Authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. Mm. Before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who is ah, hiring. Okay. Please take a sit and await further instructions. So, like I said, I'll probably change my answers from the previous one. So let's see. How did you hear about this position? Last time I said word of mouth. So this time, I'm gonna be really like I'm gonna be really um like vague, I guess. I'll say, I saw it in a dream, you know? I dreamed about this. Do you have any professional experience in this area? Hmm. I said I didn't last time, so I'm gonna lie and say I do. <laughs> yes, I definitely perform authenticity assessments for a living, of course, as do we all, right? In society. Do you have any personal experience in this area? I said I did in the previous um, playthrough, so I'm gonna say no this time. Do you believe in God? I said yes last time, so I'll say no this time. Do you fear death? Uh, I said yes last time, so I'll say no this time. Death is but a process. Death is inevitable. Death is nothing to be feared. Would you fear God? How did I answer this last time? Would I fear God? I'll say no. I guess you could say if you don't believe in it, you shouldn't be scared of it. Do you have people you love in your life? I do, but for the sake of choosing a different answer from last time, I'll say no. I am a loner. I am alone. I have no one. Do you fear loving? Do you fear loving? Oh yeah, okay, so last time I chose this answer, which made no sense. However, um, I'm gonna give a real answer this time. Do you fear loving? Yes. It's, moment, it's scary to be loved and to love. Love is a scary thing. Okay, I'll try my best. I remember you. Your eyes are not normal. No offense. But I just don't trust your face. As is yours. Um, you should probably get that checked out. It doesn't look so good. Yeah, so this one, I wasn't quite sure. Is there something on her face? I what is that? It could just be like a like a birthmark or what is that? You know what? To be uh, to be safe, I'll just say a threat. Huh. See, I don't know. Is it the suit that throws me off? He looks like a werewolf, but... I mean, his ears are kind of pointy, but some people have pointy ears. Oh, what does the beep mean? <gasps> uh, who's weird in this picture? Well, these two are weird because they both have faces. This one seems to have words, right? I still can't read what it says, but I still feel like this one is sus. I remember this one. 
The guy with no eyebrows. Wow, look at her soulless eyes. <laughs> Everyone's a threat. Did I, did I trust anyone yet? Um, I don't remember what my answers were from last time. This guy seems trustworthy. He looks human. This guy is definitely not human. Sorry. Abraham Wallace. Diazepam, 5MG tablet, take three tablets by mouth nightly. What is weird about this prescription? Keep out of children's reach? The date? Is it the date? But I can't even read it, really. Hmm. Hmm. He, he, look, he looks okay. Oh, what do the beeps mean? I'm doing terrible, aren't I? She looks okay. Hmm. You see? Is this? What is this? Is this her hand? Is there some... You know what? Just to be safe. Uh, she looks okay. Francisco Estrada, 19. Victim 2. Police Department. What's your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dora Park. At a gas station, actually. In a corner of Dora Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just he's outside and the door is locked so I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so... I don't know if you can hear, but... He's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right away, right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, and this is going to sound like crazy to you, just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face... His face, you know? He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm I'm terrified of. If I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He He's not dying, I, I don't think. He just didn't look right, is all. Kid looked like he just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's it's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just effed up right now. I, I've been drinking a, a little bit. But you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Dot, dot, dot. Officer? He must be pale. Huh? What was that? I missed it. I was, re I was looking at the text and I missed what... Uh, what? what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight and not because he drank one too many cheap beers. Ooh, is it getting faster? Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's... I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's effing creepy. Hmm, okay. Well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, F that! No effing way! No! You didn't see that little effer! He's not normal! You know refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? I is that what that is? Of course! Uh, uh, okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you, I'll stay on the line. You better! Don't leave me alone with this kid! Alright. Ave Maria Santissima. Sentizzi ah, Why did I get shocked again? No, you're a threat Still weird Still weird Better A lot better Excellent You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination Okay, okay. Congratulations Yeah If you are accepted into the Oh, okay. 
and while you're out here, why not come over to Dore Park? Oh, this is different. The tall and beautiful trees Dora all around, Park. Or watch as some of our little ones grow. This is where they found that kid. The kids along. They'll have a fantastic time in our new play area. Nah. There's truly no better place to make beautiful memories. Nah, I'm good. Dore Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. Are you sure? Oh, hmm? uh -uh. I can see his pain. I see it from my window. See it every night. Who? Oh. I can hear his steps. I hear them from my window. Hear them every night. Oh, no. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Father of many, his tears taste of sacrifice. His steps carry guilt. Well, he can take his steps and go somewhere else. Why haunt this why haunt this one park? Why torment my dreams nightly? Does he fear nightmares? Yeah. Why would you haunt a park? There are so many other creepy places that you could do better with. I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I can see it's fake. Ah, yeah, of course. This guy is not really in pain. He's lying. I won't sleep tonight. Won't listen to the man's steps. Or I will be next. <gasps> oh, no. What was that? Who was that man? Congratulations. If you are accepted in the... You will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. Oh, another update? If the letter arrives April 23rd. That, stay inside. Lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity But I just said I didn't if in my well, however, in my answer. Very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Okay. Okay. Eh? This is the same- I got the same ending as last time! Eh? Huh. Okay, let me try again then, since I got the same ending as last time. The examination will now begin. Okay, we'll try it one more time, because I got the same exact ending as the first one I played. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required hmm. to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. I tried to specifically choose different answers because I hoped that I would get a different ending, but. Okay, so let's let's choose something else this time. Uh let's see. No, I don't have any professional experience. Um, uh, yes, I have personal experience. Uh, sure, I believe in a god because they told me to pray. Uh, yeah, fair death, even though it is inevitable. Yeah, sure. Um, he can be scary if you are on his bad side. Yes, yes, there are a lot of people I care about. Yes, I fear losing them. In a moment, we will oh wait, should I have chosen the number, serial numbers? Oh, that's okay. Okay. What if I get everything wrong? Should I just get everything wrong and see what happens? I'm gonna get everything wrong, okay? I'm gonna trust this guy, you know what? Looks can be deceiving. Oh, you got a swirly face? That's okay. Happens to the best of us. Um. Sure, you look like a nice person. Very, very dashing suit, man. I like your pointy ears. Um, maybe I'll click that one. You know what? I'm sorry what I said about your eyebrows. People can have no eyebrows. And you know what? Your eyes may be soulless, but it's got a lot of... I, 
I got nothing. Sure. It could be a trick of the light. I'm just gonna trust everyone. Let's see what happens. Oh man, you were in an accident. I'm sorry. I'm gonna trust everyone this time. Oh, uh, what could be weird about this? I don't know. <laughs> Trusting everyone because I'm positive and sees the best in people. I like your uneven haircut. I like your smile. Your mouth makes a heart shape. Okay, so we're going through this again. This is the at the Dore Park. Uh, same thing. It's the same dialogue. The police. We call the police. We're like, um, there's this kid outside, he's covered in blood, he's kind of sus, I don't want to go outside. The police is like, don't be a little bit. <laughs> um, go and check on him, how could you be so cowardly? He's a little kid, he's defenseless. Um, uh, it's a crime if you don't help him. And we're like, are, really? Are you trying to just gaslight me or are you telling the truth? Because I really don't want to go outside. I feel like I'm in danger. The police is like, don't be silly, everything is fine. You watch too many horror movies. And I'm like, okay, well, then I guess... So I gotta go check on him. Yeah. Yeah, he must be pale because of blood loss. He's not suspicious at all. It's totally normal in these parts of the woods. Also, this is a safe, wonderful place. Dora Park is a safe, wonderful place to take family and friends. So, nothing bad ever happens here. I'm ready for it this time. You know what? The more I look at it, I think you have very unique features and I think you should embrace it. You too. Very unique. That You know what? That's what makes you beautiful. Are you guys all siblings? You got similar facial structure. I said yes to everyone. I trust everyone and everything. Let's see if there's a difference this time. Putting in a videotape. Ah, very pleasant music. Oh, I saw this scene. I saw this scene in the. Surprised to find the cottage door standing open. And I saw this one the road, from the previous game. He had such a strange feeling that he said to himself, "Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today." And at other times, I like being with grandmother so much. She called out. They're just the narrating a uh, little Red Riding no Hood here. So she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. Yeah, grandmama, daijoubu? My child, was the reply. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have? She said, all the better to see you with, my mm. dear. Mm. But, grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Do you oh, hug with your hands? You hug with your arms, right? Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> Some people just have bigger mouths. No need to like poke at a sore spot. Avram, you have failed me. Yes, this is what we saw in the previous playthrough. I can't escape imprisonment. I am surrounded by nothing but lies. And sand. You in a desert? And suffering. I can hear him laughing in my dreams. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted in the <laughs> you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10 hmm. 4 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, Stay inside, lock your doors and windows, and wait for the real letter to arrive. Mm -hmm. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, 
pray to them. Okay. Hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. Mm. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever Who's the one in red? Is there are they like the most important person? I still didn't get the letter in the mail. So like, am I gonna get an interview or like, nah? Oh, uh, man. Okay, you know what? Because there's three, I, I guess the endings is supposed to be as in we passed it, but we get different snippets of audio. Like the first time we got a snippet about someone like feel, feeling that there's someone outside their window. And then this one we had someone talking about like the low red riding hood. So maybe, Okay, I'll do it. You know what? I'll do it one more time. And I'm assuming that will probably be like the third ending. As in, everything really much, pretty much ends the same way, but different ways of getting to the ending. I was talking. That was really rude for you to interrupt me. Anyway, let's try one more time. And this time, I'm just going to consider everyone a threat. And let's just see if that changes anything. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thanks for putting up with me going through this over and over. Unfortunately, I can't fast forward. Um... So, uh, but they mentioned April 3rd, so maybe there'll be another update then, or, or maybe I will finally get the letter in the mail, which I've been waiting for. Okay. I wonder if the survey actually changes anything. Okay. So, I chose these two last time, so I'll choose this one. And... Uh, you know what? No. And... No, I don't have any personal experience. Yeah, I have no experience in this area, but I believe I'm totally qualified. <laughs> hmm. Um, there we go. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and okay. trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Mm. Please be careful with your selection. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay, but what if I don't like people, and I don't want to be near anyone? Then everyone is a threat to me, right? <laughs> Those glasses cannot be comfortable. You're supposed to smile for pictures. I feel like this guy is new. I don't think I saw his picture in the previous update of the game. Don't trust any of yous. Everyone is sus when their pictures are in black and white. I can't tell if I can't. It's harder to tell people's features when it's like when there's lack of color. Like sometimes they're really hard shadows in there, and then I can't tell if something is like not supposed to be there or if it's just like shadow or a piece of hair that I didn't realize was there. I like your beard. Eyebrows on fleek. Yeah, I still couldn't figure out what this was. Like, is this her hand? Like, is she wearing a glove and this is her hand? Or is there something there? Anyway, it doesn't matter because everyone threatens my existence right now. Again, we are here with the same uh, this, uh, phone, a police phone call about a suspicious little boy outside. And as always, the police will convince us to put ourselves in danger to help out this kid we don't know in the name of, um, m uh, moral and community obligation. Which, you know, is fine, but, you know, you always gotta put yourself first too, because if you're not okay, how can you help others? Also, police... Um, I'm like 
19. Like, I'm still a teenager, you know? I'm still a kid, too. Francisco Estrada, 19. Victim 2. I wonder who Victim 1 was. Victim 2. So what's going to happen? Is someone going to take uh, Francisco Estrada's um, visage? Like, his going to take on his appearance? Like a doppelganger? Ave Maria Santissima. I always pronounce it wrong. I don't, I don't know why. I'm looking at it like, how do I pronounce that? Okay, a threat. Threat, threat. Kids are scary. Have you not watched The Shining? Or The Omen? Or The Sixth Sense? Kids are scary. Oh, it's upside down this time. That's different. Don't trust anyone, is the moral of the story. Eight, E, two, A, one, four. Missing. John C. Hassan, 62 years old, 5'2", 145 pounds, long black hair, brown eyes, last seen on Monday. Um, okay, missing, John C. Uh, Mitchell Kramer, 14 years old, what does that say? Six foot f f six foot six? What is that? Hundred... Oh, it's kind of hard to read. Uh, hair, uh, something? Ear length brown hair, brown eyes. Last seen, no information. So we've got a 40, uh, no, we got a 60 year old, we got a 14 year old. Wayne Green, missing. 29 years old, Five foot eleven. Oh wait, this must say five foot five. I'm like, is that a six? This is five foot five. Okay. Uh, Wayne Green, twenty nine years old, five foot eleven, a hundred and fifty eight pounds, maybe. Short red hair, green eyes. Ooh, and someone we don't know. Starts with an F. Oh, is this Francis? Friend, I for I I already forgot their name. Victim two, friend Francisco, friend something. Ooh, a phone call. Joe's ah! gas station. What? Joe's gas station. What can I help you with? Oh, hey, hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Who's calling me? Uh, man, I'm just like, that was so loud. Yeah. That really shocked me. I'm just you, you know, like, this is the... This is... Hmm. But like, I wasn't gonna let you fire me. Oh, this I dude was planning to you. quit soon. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I told you about like, that. Hmm. Yeah, it was real. That was real. I'm, 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 I'm Don. Is this the guy that called 911? <laughs> complaining about your boss on the phone. What are we staring at? Wait, no, jo no. Is this a former? Is this a former employee yeah. of this company? Who are all these people? It was too late already. Excellent. You have now 
have completed the authenticity assessment hmm. examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted in the you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at okay. 10 4 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows, and wait for the real letter to arrive. Hmm. Do not call the police. No police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. Hmm, who are these people in the picture? Uh, okay, so yeah, it looks like um, they all pretty much end with you again waiting for your acceptance letter, but just like the audio um, and footage shown right before the end is kind of like considered a separate ending. Ah, I'm, I don't know. I, did I get any more information than before? I'm still quite confused about the situation. Um, just that there's a lot of victims and uh, a lot of people who are just not quite normal looking. And I'm not to be like, like this ain't about discrimination. This ain't about, this ain't about discrimination or anything, you know? Just like, I don't know. Sometimes a swirly face just don't look right, you know? But yeah, um, I really enjoyed the, uh, the little added features though. Like the extra audio that we got. Um, we got a few new people in the pictures too. Um, but I want to know more. Like who was, like, uh, the one that we saw who called the police, that was victim two. So who was victim one? And did the police ever find that kid or did the kid leave? And will someone else take, like, the victim too, will someone take his appearance now that he's dead? Hmm. I wonder. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, I guess we'll probably have another update maybe on April 23rd. We'll look out for that. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!